What is up, friends? Good morning. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema and rosacea and acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it is no miracle at all. It is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. Let us help you change your life today. Let us help you change the lives of loved ones, friends, family members, anybody you know who's dealing with a health challenge. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, questions about longevity products, formulations, ingredients, skincare, 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and order products right off the website. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my truth treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com. Take a special look at the retinol 5% gel if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, melasma, acne, or just general anti-aging. You want to know about retinol, you want to be using retinol, but you got to use it in a high enough concentration. It is irritating on the skin, and that's why I made my 5% retinol without preservatives, surfactants, emulsifiers, anything you don't need. And you can use the 5% retinol once or twice a week without irritation. It also has lots of juicy, fatty, anti-aging vitamin C. Retinol and vitamin C, you're not going to see that anywhere. 25% vitamin C, by the way. All right. That's truth, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so we left off uh, yesterday talking about nutritional strategies for eliminating the brown stuff that shows up underneath the skin, not the stuff on the surface. We're going to talk about that here in the next few days. That's called melasma or hyperpigmentation. That's the stuff you use retinol for, and that's the stuff that uh, you can kind of exfoliate away. We'll talk about mechanical exfoliation and, and retinol and vitamin C, and we'll even talk about some drugs, topical drugs that they give you, dermatologists give you for... Uh, for lightening melasma, but uh, got a few more things I want to say here about lipofusion. It's not melasma. It's lipofusion. It's deep. It's not pigment. It's dirt, cellular dirt, cellular detritus. I love that word. Detritus, dirt, garbage, cellular debris, or under ordinary circumstances that cellular debris is recycled. When we have uh, lipofusion accumulating, that's a sign that we're not recycling, we're not draining, we're not detoxifying. And we talked about the lymphatics yesterday. The lymph system is how lipofusion is supposed to be drained. So moving your lymph around, that's a really important strategy for, uh, for getting rid of those brown spots or preventing their formation in the first place. But there's lots of nutrients that you can use too. Anti-lipofusion nutrients, one of the most important, one of the most important nutrients of all, my favorite nutrient for the skin, for anti-aging, for the heart, for the brain, for the liver, for, the, uh, for burns and for sore throats and for the eyes. There's so many reasons why you want to be on this supplement. If you're a pregnant mom, you build a stronger baby if you have enough of this uh, very important mineral in your system. And of course, it is anti-lipofusion. I'm talking about zinc. Love the stuff. Zinc deficiencies are unfortunately all too common. You're not going to get enough zinc. There's no way you're going to get enough zinc from your food. Mostly zinc is uh, found in animal foods. It's also found in high protein, high protein grains and seeds. 
you have to eat a lot of liver. You got to eat a lot of seeds. You got to eat a lot of grains. You got to eat a lot of food to get 50 milligrams a day of zinc. Oysters, by the way, are probably nature's richest source of zinc. That's because zinc is involved in, uh, well, Rocky Mountain oysters are also a good source of zinc. That's because zinc is involved in sexuality and hormones. Zinc is just ridiculously important, and it's also important for aging pigment, for lipofusion. And zinc deficiency is directly linked to the accumulation of lipofusion in, public, in a, a paper that was published in the Journal of the Public Library of Science. They call it PLOS, P-L-O-S. The Public Library of Science researchers showed that age-related pigment deposition in the eyes, as well as macular degeneration, I, uh, we talked about that a couple days ago, macular degeneration, just eye health, uh, eye, eye disease in general is related to zinc deficiency. The pigment that, that forms in the eyes, uh, drusen it's called, it's similar to lipofusion, that is related, its accumulation is related to zinc deficiency. The researchers actually induced the formation of drusen and lipofusion in the eye by removing zinc from the diet. Macular degeneration is the eye, at least partially involves, the eye's version of lipofusion. This highlights the generic nature of disease. That's why I have such a problem with, oh, you got this problem, you take, you, you take that nutrient. Or you have that problem, you take this nutrient. I call this for that. I said, such a problem with this for that. You know, to certain, maybe slightly, you can take certain nutrients for specific ailments. But for the most part, getting healthy is generic. If you have an eye problem, you got a body problem. If you got a bone problem, you got a body problem. If you have an autoimmune problem, you got a body problem. So take care of the body, and the autoimmune issue, and the bone issue, and the eye issue will resolve itself. Our focus should be on taking care of the body. Disease is generic. Recovery is generic. Protocols, thus, are also generic. In the case of the eyes, the same thing you do for your bones and your heart and your brain and everything else is going to work for your eyes. Vitamin C, zinc, correct digestive issues, lay off of sugar, oxygenate, all the same stuff. I'm not even necessary. I'm making myself irrelevant here. Because once we get this idea, once you guys get the idea that it's all generic, and it's always the same stuff, you know, mighty 90 essential nutrients, lower your blood sugar, correct the digestive system. No matter what your health issue is, if you do these same basic strategies, you're going to get better. You don't need an expert. There's no, there's no expertise required when it comes to understanding how to be healthy. It's very, very simple. Slight digression, there was an interesting nutrition article in Sports Illustrated, of all places, about the macula. According to this article, baseball players are using pigments to improve their vision so they can hit a fastball more effectively and a curveball and a slider and other pitches, I suppose. Specifically, according to this article, they were using a pigment called zeaxanthin, which is a yellow pigment and found in corn. Zea, Z-E-A, is part of the Latin term for corn. So zeaxanthin was originally found in corn. It's a yellow pigment, but it's found in other things, too. It's found in pretty much all dark green leafy veggies. And anyway, these uh, baseball players are using zeaxanthin so they can improve their vision. They can improve their eyes. Same thing for us. You don't have to be a baseball player to use zeaxanthin and pigments and green, green leafy veggies. Just another reason why you want to get yourself a Vitamix or a Nutribullet and enjoy generous amounts of fresh veggie juice. Fresh veggie juices are filling. They have appetite suppressant effects. They fight cancer. They're great sources of nitrogen for muscle building. Yes, muscle building. Veggies for muscle building. Celery for muscle building. And digestive health. They got fiber for detoxification. And a good, well-rounded veggie juice is like an eye health tonic and one of the best routes to a healthy macula. And I have gotten so many letters about macular degeneration in the last month. I guess Dr. Wallach was on uh, George Norrie talking about macular degeneration. And I got all kinds of letters about it. Well, guess what? You want a healthy macula? One of the best things you could do is get a Vitamix or a Nutribullet and make fresh veggie juices. Oh, yeah, the Fucoid Z. Fucoid Z, I love this stuff. Fucoid Z is such a well-rounded, such a multifunctional nutritional supplement. It's great for your immune system and your blood, and it's also got skin health benefits. It can keep you from burning in the sun. But guess what? It's also a source of zeaxanthin as well as other eye health pigments. That means your Fucoid Z, in addition to being anti-cancer and blood thinning and important for the digestive system, is also protective against macular degeneration. How is that for multifunctionality? For the most part, these eye health pigments are only found in veggies, but there's a couple of sources, non-veggie sources, that contain these pigments. I'll tell you what those are when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. All right, we are back. 
back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. 844-236-6010. If you have a comment or want to uh, share a success story, or if you have questions about the longevity products or health challenges, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, recommended on the program, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or you can head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com and order products directly off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. All right, so we are talking lipofusion and zinc. Zinc is just awesome all around, all around supplement. Actually, before we went to break, we were, I told you I'd talk about two health pigments, two eye health pigments that are non veggie, and that is egg yolks and salmon. Yes, egg yolks and salmon are powerful anti-macular degeneration foods because they contain these pigments. Egg yolks contain, obviously, they're yellow. And the yellow is pigment, and specifically, it's zeaxanthin. Salmon aren't yellow. They're red. That's because they're munching on all that carotene-containing algae that floats on the top of the, on top of the water. And that carotene, which gives, the, uh, which gives the salmon a kind of pinkish color, is great for your eyes. So egg yolks and salmon, by the way, salmon and both egg yolks and salmon contain omega-3 fatty acids, which are also very important for the eyes and for the brain. So make sure you're eating your eggs. Every once in a while, I get a call from somebody who says, oh, well, eggs are mucus forming or allergenic and people complaining about eggs. I'm telling you guys, there is, it's hard to come up with a more powerful, nutritionally dense food than an egg, the humble little egg, which will cost you, I don't know, 20 cents for an egg. That's an amazing, amazing piece of nutrition, an egg. You know why an egg is such a, such a powerful nutrient is because it's a cell. Remember how we always say on this program, all disease is cell disease. Well, all health is cell health. And one of the best ways to have healthy cells is to make sure you're getting all the raw material from making a cell. Well, if you eat an egg, by definition, you're eating a cell, which means by definition, you're getting all the ingredients you need to make cells. That's what makes an egg such a perfect food. All disease is cell disease. All health is cell health. To have healthy cells, you've got to have the raw material for building cells. And an egg, being a cell, is exactly that. It's every single material you need for building a cell. It is nature's perfect cell building food. And to deprive yourself of eggs, man, it just seems like a waste. And to deprive yourself of the egg yolk, which is where really all the powerful stuff is, that's not just a waste. That's stupid to throw out the egg yolk. I can always tell if, some, if a nutritionist or a healthcare professional knows what they're talking about if they tell it, by what their, their opinion is on egg yolks. Now, it's true people can be allergic to eggs, and it's true about any living protein, dairy especially, and eggs. Eggs and dairy are two of the more common, uh, protein, uh, more common food allergens because they're living proteins. And living proteins, proteins with live factors in them, are going to be allergenic. That's just the nature of them. But if you're not allergic to them, you are nutsola, in my opinion, to deprive yourself of eggs and whey protein uh, and, and good, if we could find it, good milk. It's hard to find good milk, but if you could find it. Anyway, back to zinc and lipofusion and drusen. Zinc is a building material. It's protective against all forms of aging, no matter where they appear, on the skin, inside the body. And by the way, lipofusion shows up in the heart, and that is obviously not a good thing. You don't want to have brown aging pigment in your heart. And zinc's anti-lipofusion benefits mean a better heart, cardiovascular health. Zinc is way more important for your heart than a statin drug or preluent or lowering cholesterol. This failed idiotic strategy of lowering cholesterol to protect your heart of artificially lowering cholesterol to protect your heart, you'd be way better off using 50 milligrams a day of zinc. And I like zinc picolinate, as you guys probably know. Zinc picolinate. Or also, there's a form of zinc called zinc monomethionine. Those are the two best forms of zinc. You want about 50 milligrams a day. Zinc is one of the most important and underappreciated nutrients for keeping your heart functioning smoothly for cardiac function. And considering zinc deficiency is common, one of the more common nutrient deficiencies, could it be that something as simple as a 50 milligram dose of zinc picolinate may be all you need to protect yourself from heart disease, the, the leading cause of, of death in this country and around the world? Could it be that zinc, plain old zinc, 
can inoculate you against heart disease. Well, given all of the heart benefits associated with zinc, including stabilizing your sugar and, and being anti-lipofusion, you can make a pretty good case for that. I don't know if it's a fact, but you can make a pretty good case for that. Yesterday, a study was published in the Journal of Biological Chemistry that showed that zinc is not only helpful for keeping the heart lipofusion free, it also plays a major role in maintaining the heartbeat, maintaining a healthy heartbeat. According to lead researcher, Dr. Samantha Pitt, research showed that, quote, zinc plays a key role in regulating heart muscle contractility and how imbalances in zinc may contribute to diseases such as heart failure and fatal arrhythmias, unquote. Oh yeah, arrhythmias, that's another, another benefit for zinc. When your heart goes out of rhythm, the, the rhythm of the heart is tightly, tightly regulated. If you have arrhythmias or fibrillations or what they call tachycardias, fast heartbeat, zinc is a major, major supplement, important supplement for controlling the rhythm. Please do not let them ablate your heart, destroy your heart, and you certainly don't need a blood thinner and an anticoagulant and a, a beta blocker, calcium channel blocker, poison, P-O-I-S-O-N, poison for, uh, for an arrhythmia. This research, uh, research from this uh, journal identified a key role that zinc plays regulating calcium movement. It's like a natural calcium blocker, calcium channel blocker. Regulates calcium movement. Doesn't just block it, it regulates the in and out of calcium. Drugs block calcium, poison the calcium pathway into the cell. Zinc regulates calcium movement in a healthy, non-toxic fashion. And of course this is important because calcium and calcium problems are a major, major cause of heart failure. Problems with calcium, that's the, import, that's the reasoning behind calcium channel blockers. So if you're taking metoprolol, low presser, uh, propranolol, indoral, whatever your beta blocker, favorite beta blocker is, or a calcium channel blocker, which are among the most toxic and deadly of all prescription drugs. If you're thinking about having your heart electrocuted, they call it ablation. Did your cardiologist tell you about zinc? Did he ask you if you're on zinc or supplementing with zinc? Did he check your zinc levels? When was the last time anyone went to a cardiologist and got a prescription for zinc picolinate 50 milligrams a day, which not only has zero Zippo side effects and countless beneficial effects for the brain, the immune system, the skin, and the bone, and sexual performance, and libido, and now for the heart. Not only all that, but it'll cost you a penny a day, and you don't have to wait in line at the drugstore to get it. Zinc is also super mega important for the blood sugar and for digestive health and the health of the thyroid. Zinc is a key player in keeping the triangle of disease at bay and stabilizing the body, protecting it from the triangle of disease. 50 milligrams a day of zinc. Oh, by the way, when you're taking zinc, it's probably a good idea to throw in a little bit of copper. Zinc and copper have an interesting antagonistic relationship where zinc supplementation or high levels of zinc or taking zinc can cause copper deficiency, vice versa. Many people get more, way more copper than zinc and that can exacerbate zinc deficiencies. Especially if you're drinking, if you live in a big city and you're drinking water, tap water out of copper pipes. A lot of old municipalities use copper pipes and the copper kind of leaches into the water. That can also cause problems with zinc deficiency. Let's see what else here. There's two other super nutrients for minimi uh, minimizing the accumulation of lipofusion, aging pigment. We'll talk about those when we come back from our break and take your calls too. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side and we do have all open lines. So... If you want to get on board, if we left you on hold in the past, now's the time to do it. I'm going to, we've got tons of letters here. I'm going to read a few of these. If we don't get any calls, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear us talk about or advertise on the program, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you're interested in purchasing our retinol gel, 5% retinol gel with vitamin C, you can find, it, find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. You'll also see our omega-6 healing cream as well as Truth Balm and Truth Serum, all loaded, packed with vitamin C, which is super mega important for lots of things in the skin. We're going to talk about melasma, skin lightening, and vitamin C. And vitamin C is one of the most underappreciated topical ingredients, topical nutrients for counteracting or dealing with melasma. 
Anyway, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so there's a couple of nutrients. We're talking here lipofusion, the dark pigment that's not melasma. We'll talk about melasma, probably get to it tomorrow or the next day. We'll talk melasma. A couple of nutrients that are important for lipofusion and in addition to zinc. Probably the most important and the one that gets all the press if you follow the lipofusion news is vitamin E. Vitamin E is also one of the more common vitamin deficiencies. If you're not supplementing with vitamin E, it's really going to be hard to get it because it's not found in very many foods. Grains are probably the best source of vitamin E. Let me think here. Uh, grains and seeds are probably your best sources of vitamin E. You'll get a little bit in organ meats, but not much. It's not really found in foods, unfortunately. And you do need about 400 international units a day of vitamin E to get uh, heart benefits, anti-lipofusion benefits, and brain health benefits. Vitamin E is one of the most important drugs for protecting against Alzheimer's disease. Vitamin E is a generally protecting vitamin. That's its role. It's a protection vitamin. It protects cells. It protects the outside part of cells. It especially it protects fats. And because the brain is such an important fatty organ, neurons, brain cells are loaded with fat. Vitamin E is very important for all central nervous system issues, brain health issues, movement disorders. Yesterday, I read an article here. Where is this? This is from the American, uh, American Geriatric Society. Drugs double the risk of a serious fall in the elderly. Drugs are actually a cause of death in the elderly. Now I'm talking prescription drugs, doubling the risk. Prescription drugs in the elderly is such a nasty, nasty health strategy. And that's who's getting the, the bulk of our prescription drugs. A large majority, anyway, of our prescription drugs are being taken by the elderly, especially brain drugs. There's a class of drugs called anticholinergics. Respiratory drugs are, have anticholinergic properties, urinary incontinence drugs drugs that are used for the digestive system, over-the-counter cold and flu remedies, antidepressants, anti-Parkinson drugs, Parkinsonian drugs. These are drugs uh, that have a property called anti an anticholinergic property without getting into too much chemistry. The cholinergic system is involved in brain health and anticholinergics are used for brain issues. Well, guess what? <laughs> anticholinergic drugs are one of the major causes of of side effects and toxicity, and elderly folks are especially, especially at risk. Age-associated changes that we assume, or uh, 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 changes in the body that we assume are age-associated, may very well be related to drugs, especially cognitive problems. It turns out that these anticholinergic drugs can, uh, according to medical professionals, I'm reading here from an article, a Medscape pharmacist, these anticholinergic drugs increase neurodegeneration, the destruction of your nerves, the destruction of brain cells. Yes, the drugs they give you for, for, uh, respiratory, uh, for uh, uh, respiratory problems, for incontinence, for Parkinson's disease, they actually have neurodegenerative effects. They break up, they destroy brain cells. Well, guess what? One of the best ways to protect your brain, to protect your brain cells, especially if you're on a prescription drug, as especially if you're elderly, especially if you're dealing with dementia, is vitamin E. In fact, the, many of the prescription treatments for Alzheimer's disease, which are not really treatments, they don't really do anything, are derivatives of vitamin E. If you are aging, you're having neurocognitive problems, memory problems, vitamin E is one of the all-time great supplements for your brain, in addition to being awesome for helping with lipofusion, help drain away lipofusion. Remember, lipofusion, dark fat. Vitamin E is protective. It protects fats, protects fats from oxidizing. Dark fat is fat, fats that have oxidized. Lipofusion is basically oxidized fats from cells and a few other things too. Vitamin E protects against that. Vitamin E is also wonderfully anti-aging. It especially protects, check this out, vitamin E is especially protective for the cells that make collagen. They're called fibroblasts. The cells that keep us from wrinkling make anti-wrinkle fibers. These fibroblasts in the skin are protected by vitamin E. Vitamin E is not only anti-lipofusion, it's anti-wrinkle too. Now there's different types of vitamin E. There's actually eight different types of vitamin E. Most supplements will have alpha to cofferol. That's one type of vitamin E. But there's seven other types of vitamin E and they're all important. That's why foods are always your best source of nutrients because you get the whole balance. That's why I like whole foods more than supplements. Unfortunately, like I said, you can't get vitamin E and, and you can't get a lot of nutrients or high amounts of nutrients by just eating food. That's why you have to supplement. But the word supplement means in addition to. To supplement means in addition to your food. 
So supplementation is important because it supplements, it's in addition to, it's added to a healthy diet. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get all the nutrients that you need from food, but you'll get a well-rounded nutritional profile from foods. You'll get all the different nutrients. There's probably things we don't even know that are in foods that are important. Do you know there's something called food psychiatry now? Food psychiatry, this is kind of cool. Food psychiatry is uh, one of the latest branches of, of, uh, of a psychiatric medicine where they use f food for brain health. It's called food psychiatry. There's actually some uh, a, uh, organization, I suppose, called the International Society for Nutritional Psychiatry. That is so cool. They're actually working on a brain food diet. According to this guy, Dr. Dr. Ramsey, I don't know his first name, he says, a quote, food is a very effective and underutilized intervention in mental health, unquote. Now, if it's an underutilized intervention in mental health, do you suppose it's an underutilized intervention in body health, in all health? Hippocrates knew this. B.C., hundreds of years before Christ, let food be thy medicine, let medicine be thy food. I actually got into pharmacy. When I went to pharmacy school, my intention was to study food as, as, as drugs, food as medicine. And they laughed at that. They thought that was funny. That was back in the 1980s. Today we know food is very powerful medicine. It is the most powerful medicine. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's, uh, let's go to Scott in Texas. Scott, what's going on, my man? Hey, Ben. Hey. I have a 12-year-old 12, 12 daughter. Who, yeah. Uh, when she was two, we uh, noticed a, a mangioma in her index finger. Okay, when she was and, two. Uh, when she was two, she stuck it in into a little hole, and when she pulled it out, it was painful to her. And anyway, it uh, I guess was not that noticeable, but uh, after that, we, we took her to the doctor, and it was diagnosed as a hemangioma okay. image. They sent us to... Uh, the hospital an hour is it, away to is it get still it. there it is and okay. it's the, well uh, we got to take scott hang tight sure. i want to we'll finish up and come back from our break okay i'm pharmacist ben 844-236-6010 is our number we'll be back after this all right we're back on the bright side talking to scott in texas scott you there man Hey, yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, your your uh, daughter, she was two years old. She got a, you say that she stuck her finger in something and then came out and she had an angioma out of it? No, no, that was just how we first noticed it, I oh, guess. Oh, okay. Because okay. yeah. those are circulatory those, issues. Those are growth issues more than trauma. Right. Um, how, now, she's 12 now, right? She's 12 now. She's always had discomfort and, you know, from time to time it does uh, give her more discomfort and okay. pain. All right, so uh, didn't have to... We were told back then that it needed to be left alone and and might need to it might resolve itself. Or they do might... resolve. Yes, that's true. They do resolve. That, they can resolve. I should say they don't always resolve, resolve. but they can. Re they can resolve. Right. It's it's a growth. Uh, it's a growth of the cells that line the blood vessels. Uh, uh, hemangioma. Angiomas are gross, but hemangiomas, which is what you're talking about, are blood vessel gross. Anytime the, uh, you have growths, whether they're cysts or benign tumors or angiomas or uh, anytime stuff is growing, nodules, fibroids, etc., you got two things to look at. Number one, the hormone estrogen, and number two, sugar and insulin. Those are the two major reasons why we get growths, no matter where those growths are, fibroids are in the breasts or, or cysts on the skin or angiomas, whatever. So two things, number one, the hormone estrogen, and number two, sugar slash insulin. So for estrogen, first of all, she's not, does she have her periods yet? Does she get periods? No, she's physically okay. pretty immature. Okay, got it. Got it. So here's a couple things that you're going to want to do. You're going to want to look for, number one, uh, digestive issues. The hormone estrogen is a fat hormone, and, and she's still making estrogen. She's not making, not like she's going to be making it in a couple of years, but she's sure. still making estrogen. So you want to look for digestive issues. That's the first thing, and, and that's always the first thing that you want to do. I'm just telling you it's about estrogen just to give you an idea of how it's connected, but you always want to go back to the digestive system. Does she have any digestive issues, food intolerance? 
intolerances, digestive allergies, uh, constipation, bloating, discomfort anywhere, anywhere, anything like that. Does that sound familiar? Does, yeah. does that ring a bell? Well, yes. I, I, I mean, I listen to you a lot, so I, I, I you know what to look for. Saying. Yeah, right. Did you see any of those things? Do you have? Did you notice any of those things? Does she complain I'm at all? To, uh, she's very private about. Uh, yeah, that's uh, understandable. That's that understandable. My wife probably knows more, but ask I, your wife. I haven't. And, go ahead. And uh, I don't know, but I, I, you know, we'll find out. I had not been thinking digestive. Uh, Think it, it, it's not she, a. You know, it's not, it's counterintuitive. You're like, okay, well, it's the hemangioma on her finger. What's that yeah. got to do with the digestive system? Well, that's where uh, the connection I'm telling you. Estrogen means growth, and estrogen is processed by probiotics, good bacteria in the digestive system. It also involves liver health and, and intestinal health. So anything that whacks out the digestive system is going to cause problems with the hormone estrogen, and that can cause growth issues like tumors and angiomas. It's usually a problem with older people, but there's no reason why it can't happen in a kid, too. So that's the first right. thing to do. If you want to, uh, if you find, find uh, digestive health issues, which you probably will. Uh, food allergies obviously eliminate the foods that are causing the allergies or the intolerances. And then get her on the uh, Biolumin Nightly Essence and the Fucoid Z. Those are two great supplements for the digestive tract, and the Fucoid Z is also really important for the circulatory system, too. So she may get some benefits there as well. And then the second... She loves the root beer belly. She's she does. She's picky about what she'll taste. She loves fruit, but the root beer belly... Uh, We've gotten her to take the, and I just ordered the uh, uh, bioluminitely. I can't essence? say it, but, but just yeah, call it nightly essence. Fucoid, yeah. Okay, and the, the fucoid Z I've not ordered, but we're going to try to get that uh, one now. I will. Take those. I will tell you the fucoid Z comes in a very tasty, if sugary, it's got a lot of sweetener in it. Uh, uh, ver version that she may like. You know, I don't. You know, it's not as it's not doesn't have as much bang for your buck. It doesn't have as much fucoidin in it, which is the active ingredient in the fucoid Z. But she may like the taste of it, and that's the Z radical. So if she, you know, if she wants a treat, and it is kind of a treat because it's sweet. But personally, right. I would I would use the fucoid Z because the okay. second aspect of growth involves insulin and sugar. Those the, the, remember, there's two aspects to cell growth, out of control cell growth. One is estrogen, the other is is uh, insulin slash sugar. So. Uh, she may have an issue there as well, especially if she's not, if she's lean and mean, she may be producing, is she eat a lot, but she's still lean kind of thing? She's lean, she eats a lot of fruit. Yeah. Those are all indicative of sugar problems. Those are all indicative yeah. of a blood sugar issue. So you may want to uh, consider that she's got some prediabetes going on or insulin problems. So a couple things you want to do there. Number one, she should be sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You may want to throw in a couple of sweeties as well. If you can wean her away from the fruit, now that's tough to do. If she's addicted and she loves fruit and she loves sweets, that's going to be tough to do. So if you can yeah. gradually wean her off of that and into more protein, that's going to be in her interest. Now, there's a, a really cool amino acid called glutamine that has no taste to it, and you can put maybe half a teaspoonful in water. Uh, it'll be, it's great for her liver, and it's got a lot of other benefits, building benefits, brain health benefits, muscle, muscle building benefits, but it also is a great strategy for steering her away from sugar and away from sweets. It has a, a, a satisfying quality. You know, you know, when we like sweets, a lot of that liking of sweets is triggered by brain chemistry. So you can hit the brain buttons for sweet without doing the sweet, then you can wean yourself off of, off of sugar and, and those kinds of foods, sweet foods and the fruits and snacks, et cetera, that kids love so much, that everybody loves so much. Glutamine powder is a great strategy for that, uh, maybe a half a teaspoonful uh, in, um, in water every day. And then there's a really cool amino acid called glycine, G-L-Y-C-I-N-E. Between glu glutamine and glycine, you've got two major components of the molecule glutathione, Glutathione is just a wonderful all-around nutrient, uh, all-around anti-cancer substance that the body produces. Uh, glycine and glutamine and cysteine from NAC help you make glutathione. But the reason I'm telling you about glycine is glycine sweet, tastes like sugar. So you might be able to get her off of the sweets by by using maybe lemon juice with a little bit of glycine in it. Lemon juice and glycine make a real sweet lemonade, and it won't mess up her sugar, her blood sugar. So that's another strategy for you. You want to be able to wean her off of, uh, off of any of these foods that are spiking her blood sugar. And a lot of times kids, 
uh, when they're deficient in certain things, will go for the sugar, especially when they're deficient in protein. So making sure that she's getting enough protein. Bone soup is a great source of protein. All, everybody loves chicken soup, making sure she's got her bone soup going. Uh, whey protein can be helpful for her, wean her off of sugar. And then a couple of minerals that can be helpful are selenium and zinc. Both selenium and zinc can help her metabolize sugar and process sugar, but selenium and zinc have another very important role to play in keeping people away from sugar. They're building. They'll help her build muscle. They'll help her build brain cells. They'll help her build bone. And by helping her build and helping her uh, access building chemistry, that's another way that she can maybe wean herself away from sugar. A lot of times we go for sugar when we're deficient in building, building nutrients in protein, zinc, essential fats, etc. The body will go for sugar when it's deficient in building nutrients by giving her the protein and the zinc and the, and the uh, building essential fats and the building nutrients. She can maybe wean herself off of sugar that way as well. Ultimate EFAs. Get her on the healthy start pack. Get her on the sweeties. Get her on the Fucoid Z. Continue the root beer belly and maybe try the... Uh, Maybe try the nightly essence as well. Excellent. All right, All right. got Lots lots of good stuff on. there. Thanks Appreciate for your help. Thanks for your call, Scott. God bless. Good good luck with everything. Thanks. All right. All right. Okay, so let's see. Got about a minute here to go. Let's see if I can squeeze a letter in here. I'm getting all of these wonderful letters from folks who haven't listened to the bright side, so they don't know what I'm gonna say. So We'll say it here. Kidney disease. Got lots of letters about kidney disease. If you're on kidney dialysis, you got kidney disease, and lots of people do, understand this. It's a blood issue. Gia writes, uh, I was wondering what is your opinion on how I could treat my kidneys since I have chronic kidney disease. I really don't want to take any medication. I'm venturing into acupuncture to relieve the symptoms. You don't need acupuncture. I like acupuncture. It's way better than drugs. And people have been using acupuncture for thousands of years for childbirth and surgical pain, et cetera. They used to do surgery without anesthesia just by doing acupuncture. So I'm a big believer in acupuncture. But kidney disease is not caused by an acupuncture deficiency. It's caused by dirty blood. Remember, we always say all disease is cell disease, but all cell disease is dirty blood disease. This is the key. It's called sepsis. If you're a, a medical professional, and most sepsis is infectious, it involves bacteria, but you can have chronic long-term sepsis, chronic long-term dirty blood. And the kidneys are the blood filter, so it makes sense if you've got chronic long-term dirty blood, you're going to have a problem with your kidneys. And it's not a medical issue. Unless you have no kidney function at all, and obviously then you, you have a medical issue, but the trick is to get to your kidneys, uh, get to uh, improve the health of your kidneys before you have dialysis, and you do, uh, you protect your kidneys, you heal the kidneys, you strengthen the kidneys by cleaning the blood. The main route of blood, uh, main route of toxicity into the blood, of course, is food. Surprise, surprise, especially sugar. Sugar represents a food, uh, represents a food toxin, a blood toxin. And make no mistake about it, sugar is a toxin after a certain amount. And you need a certain amount, a small amount. But after that, it's a toxin, and it's especially toxic to the kidneys. That's why kidney disease and diabetes go hand in hand. So clean the blood. Use your bioluminightly essence. Use digestive health strategies. Eliminate problem foods. It's all the same stuff, you guys. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. Check out my website, brightsideben.com. If you want to purchase any of our skin health products, go to truthtreatments.com. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Have a wonderful, spectacular, awesome day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Bye for now.